Hello, it's me, Madam Shukran from Educare Institute, and we are proceeding with nectar from four solvings. For today, we are going to have a discussion specifically in English language from four. And for today's discussion, we are going to have nectar 2018 solvings question number 12 it reads using two poems that you have studied in this section discuss the effects of selfishness among the readers in developing countries give four points from each poem i repeat using two poems that you have studied in this section Discuss the effects of selfishness among the leaders in developing countries. Give four points from each poem. So here the candidate were required to, to give four points from two from two poems which relates to the question about the effect of selfishness among the leaders in developing countries for example in Tanzania and the many other countries in tackling this question we have to know the parts of the of an essay or question this is an essay question so should have three parts introduction main board and conclusion in introduction involve definition of the key terms in this question then followed by maybe types examples which relates to this question then in the introduction part is where you you introduce the poems which are going to be used in answering this question in main board is where you write the key points or the main idea which were required to be put there in order to give the full message or information in conclusion is where you conclude your question maybe by providing advice to this africa to these developing countries or african countries or any developing country maybe advice or what do you think should be done in order to avoid selfishness in among leaders in these developing countries selfishness means ubinafsi kwamba katika miongoni mwa nchi zinazoendelea viongozi huwa ni wabinafsi let us know the meaning of selfishness Selfishness is the act of using public funds for personal gain or it is the act of putting forward personal interest than group or public interest. Kwamba <coughs> ubinafsi ni ile hali ya kuweka kuweka kipaumbele kwenye matakwa yako au matakwa ya viongozi badala ya kuweka mbele matakwa ya wanajamii au wananchi so the leaders among of leaders in developing countries put forward their interest vile wanavyovitaka ndo wanavyoweka mbele au wanavipa kipaumbele than the majorities or public interest for example the majority or public may need electricity water supply food shelter they may face health problems so they may need infrastructures like school buildings hospital buildings or even roads but these the among of leaders put forward their needs or their interests than the needs of these people wanaweka wanayapa kipaumbele yale matakwa yako matakwa yao au mahitaji yao wanahitaji wao kuwa na nyumba nzuri, kuwa na magari mazuri, kuwa famous au kuwa maarufu, 
Kwa hiyo watatafuta namna yoyote ili wapate yale wanayohitaji badala ya kuzingatia yale matakwa ya wananchi wao au watu ambao wanawaongoza. <coughs> so after knowing that here it's where we introduce our books which we are going to use in this in answering this question. Uh, you may start by saying in answering this question two books or two poems will be used which are Building the Nation by Henry Barlow and you, you mentioned and another poem which you are going to use if it is it's more if it is freedom song you mentioned there then you 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 tell what the poem you are going to start with so here i've been chosen building the nation then you start starting with building the nation by henry Barlow. these are the key key effects of selfishness to to among of developing countries the first one selfishness leads to poverty poverty is the situation whereby people cannot afford their basic needs such as food clothes shelter electricity health safe and clean water education from the poem it can be seen when the persona says the pains we suffer in building the nation so the peers had answers to my answers i think are usual painful only they are caused by anger no symptoms lunches so here it indicates that self selfishness leads to poverty when the leaders are selfish or tunasema wako ni wabinafsi they use public funds for their own development for their personal gains so after that the effects come well by majority lacks their basic needs such as food shelter you may find that kwa mbunge au kwa diwani ana mashamba mengi anavuna ana mazao mengi ana chakula cha kutosha na kingine maybe anauza lakini you may find that in that area there are people who lacks even mlo mmoja kwa siku yani kuna baadhi ya watu ambao kwenye jamii wanakosa hata mlo mmoja kwa siku au wakibahatisha huo mmoja basi ni kwa bahati nasibu so for example the driver driver here shows that most of majority lacks their ranch they like they lack food for eating during day times so they get answers not because of other problem maybe stress no it is because of anger so the leaders uses public funds for their own gain instead of helping these people in their areas another point selfishness leads to embezzlement is the use of public funds for personal gain it shows that leaders use their power and position to build their lives which makes people suffer from their selfishness from the poem it can be seen when the persona tells about the foods and drink the permanent secretary had with his fellow leaders we can see in this poem when the permanent when the driver drove this permanent se secretary to their uh, meeting in that meeting they had a lot of foods drinkings for their own refreshment not about discussing the matters which faces their people but what they are discussing where they were making stories refreshing their minds joking small talks which are not the interest of the public of the public all of the people in their areas but it is their own interest they want to refresh their minds so they use this all of the funds for their own interests another point selfishness leads to suffering 
the society suffers from leaders selfishness where they give them orders but they don't care about their lives for example permanent secretary went to the meeting ate a lot of food had drinks funny jokes but with no consideration about the driver here we can see when the permanent secretary entered in their meeting with his fellow leaders discussing joking had food drinks but without care about the driver the driver was out out of the room but the permanent secretary seems to have to enjoy the life to enjoy the time to enjoy with his friends instead of make consideration about the majority so here it shows that most of readers in developing countries they give orders to people to the majority or people who are in lower class they give them order without consideration of their lives or of the effects on what they are doing you can't take somebody to maybe to take you somewhere then without consideration of what he's going to eat or where he's going to sleep you may find that unaweza kukuta kwamba kiongozi amemchukua tuseme dereva wake amempeleka labda amemwambia nipeleke sehemu fulani nipeleke ofisi fulani akiingia kule hajali kwamba yule mtu ataendelea na hali gani yeye yeah, ataondoka mtakutana jioni atakwambia tu nifuate sehemu fulani nifuate muda fulani kwa hiyo wewe ndio ujiongeze kwamba nitakula saa ngapi nitakula nini nitaenda wapi so among of leaders they use their position to exploit others they use their position to make others suffer instead of helping them another point selfishness leads to underdevelopment as we know that in an area where selfishness is the problem and the and the development happens without without a knock and the development is the situation where people lives under static life where their economic political cultural and social status that not does not change most of developing countries they are not developing since the leaders come into power with the high desire of attaining wealth instead of bringing changes so selfishness leads to underdevelopment because most of leaders when they they take power they they are going with the higher interest in attaining wealth wengi wanachagua yani wanagombea ili kupata utajiri they give fake promises kuna wengine wanasema nitawajengea barabara madarasa nitaongeza maji umeme hautokata but you may find that after few months all promises are not fulfilled until they mpaka pale ambapo wanamaliza miaka yao tuseme ni mitano au ni mitatu au ni miwili hakuna changes ambazo zinatokea au hakuna mabadiliko ambayo yanatokea the situation remain the same there is no changes so there is no development if he said he will bring maybe he will he will help them in health services or water supply but you may find after 5 years there is no changes there is no buildings there is no doctors there is no anything in that area so they the development are not happening because of selfishness kitu ambacho wana focus ni kutafuta mali wajichukulie na waondoke kwa hiyo anafikiria kwamba nikikaa miaka yangu mitano nitakuwa na nyumba tano nitakuwa na magari yasiyopungua kumi watoto watasoma vizuri nitakuwa nimeshapata mali za kunipeleka mpaka uzeni most of african most of developing countries so after that as we have seen in building the nation we are proceeding with eat more in the poem eat more there are several effects in this poem which have been shown by the persona in this poem the first 
effect is selfishness leads to unemployment. We see that the people in the people or the majority suffers from unemployment because even the leaders they don't care about their lives. So what they care is about their own lives and not the majority's life. We say that unemployment is the situation of not having a job or some something that you can do and being paid. For example, when the persona says, but I'm on unemployment pay, my third year now and word. From this from this poem or from this quotation, here we can see that the persona is a, in a country whereby the unemployed people are paid. Wale watu ambao hawana ajira kuna kiasi wanapewa kama misaada kwa ajili ya kuishi. Lakini bado wanapewa lakini hawezi kuimprove. Hajawahi kupata ajira na maendeleo hana. Hawezi kupata vitu bora ambavyo angetamani kuvipata. Kwa hiyo in most of developing countries there is no employment most of people are unemployed you may find for example in tanzania for example tasaf ile inatoa misaada kwa watu wazee hawana ajira hawana nini lakini wanaweza kusaidiwa wanapewa pesa kidogo wapate chakula wapate nini lakini you may find that they they, they don't improve or they are not improving because of unemployment and they have nothing to do with their lives so when we come to youth or to young adults if you are an employment pay you you cannot develop huwezi kuendelea utategemewa kununua chakula mwenyewe kujitegemea mala watoto mala nani ndugu wamekuhitaji so it is very difficult for you to improve but kama ingetokea kwamba leaders au viongozi wanaweka budget au wanatenga budget kwa ajili ya vijana au kwa ajili ya watu ambao hawana ajira kwamba tuweze hata kuwapa kwenye sekta even it is hata kama ikiwa ni kiwango kidogo but they can afford their basic needs another point selfishness leads to crises in the society selfishness leads to crisis in the society matabaka katika jamii kuna kundi la watu ambao wana uwezo na lingine ambao hawana wenye elimu na ambao hawana crisis are, are the divisions among the society members basing on their levels of education economic status and political power in relation to the poem selfishness created two groups which are economically based the ones who eat fruits beef fish and bread while the other group eats grasses so from this poem each more is where we can find that there are two groups of people wale watu ambao wameendelea au wana uchumi mkubwa na wale watu ambao hawana uchumi mkubwa we can categorize them in terms of leaders or those with political power and the majority who are wale citizens raia so leaders they have accessibility to fruits beef fish bread whereby these the lower people or the people under the the most of majority they have no access to those things for example you can take wale watu ambao hawana ajira they are unemployed so they eat by hustling wana hustle kabisa kwamba nitafute chakula leo nikupata uji tu inakuwa ni problem so how can these people improve and get and have accessibility to fruits kula matunda ni kitu ambacho haiwezekani na most of people wanakula matunda kama chakula na sio kama tunda linapotakiwa kulio unakuta kwamba mtu hana uwezo wa kupata kupata chakula siku hiyo ya le, ya siku hiyo kwa mfano kupata nyama au kupata samaki hata mkati wa asubuhi ni ngumu kuupata hata chai hanywi kwa hiyo anachokifanya kama ni msimu wa maembe atachukua ndo moja ya maembe atakula so it indicates that the group of leaders they use 
public funds for their own benefits, then they tell the majority to get access accessibility or to use things which they cannot afford. Another point, selfishness leads to poor living condition. Maisha duni kwa watu. Poor living condition in the life where by people fail to afford their basic needs from the poem people seems to lack the ability to afford nutritious food. It can be seen when the persona said the only one that can sweet me e eat more bloody grass. So from this poem is where you can see that most of our majority cannot afford nutritious food. Hawezi kupata ule mlo kamili tunasema mlo wenye virutubishi vyote kwa sababu wana uwezo duni lakini tukija kwenye upande wa leaders wanaweza kuupata au viongozi wakubwa wanaweza kuupata kwa sababu they they give orders wanatoa order hapa mpaka hapa kesho tukutane ofisini when they get there maybe it was a not a big problem but they they take it as a huge problem in order to get something from the majority and from that point is where they can get all they want wanaweza wakaja wakapambana na wauza matunda wauza mboga mboga kesho kesho kuta unakuta vitu wanavyo wao lakini the majority wanavikosa so it it leads to poor living condition watu wanaishi chini ya maisha duni au kwenye maisha duni ambayo kuna baadhi ya vitu hawavipati Another point selfishness leads to underdevelopment. Underdevelopment among developing countries have been a, have been a big case whereby people's funds are being used by their leaders instead of fulfilling their promises. So here as we have explained in building the nation also from this poem it more we can observe that and the development have been the big problem or big case in developing countries whereby leaders use the public funds for their own development instead of improving the the life in the areas where they lead so in conclusion the government leaders especially in developing countries like Tanzania should be aware of following aids and grants being leaders should be taken as the position to raise others and not to and not a chance to exploit others so this is an advice that the government leaders au viongozi kwa ujumla they should be in a position to raise others and not to exploit others so they should be careful on the grants and aids misaada misaada ni mizuri as we know but they have they they have conditions which are very are very painful kwa sababu unaweza ukakuta mkataba una sign leo lakini una effect miaka 20 mbele so they should be aware of this grants and aids but also they should take their position at the position to raise others and not to exploit the majority so let us have a look on relevant questions to this question that we have solved use two poems of your choice to show the effects of selfishness give four points from each poem so it is very related to that question or they can the question can come like selfishness is the big problem in developing countries by using two poems of your choice argue with the statement by providing the effects of selfishness Th three points government leaders use public funds for their personal gains give it is effects by using two poems of your choice four points from each poem or the question may come the poet portrays selfishness as an evil 
in the society. Argue with the statement by giving three points from two poems of your choice. So from these questions, from these questions, the answers should be the same. You should choose the two poems, then give the effects of selfishness. If selfishness is an evil, means that it have negative effects to the majority. So let us have a summary about our discussion. We had two poems. The first one is building the nation. We had four points, poverty, embezzlement, suffering, and underdevelopment. So these are all the effects of selfishness. In Itimo, we had underdevelopment, unemployment, crisis, and poor living condition. So you may find that these are the most problems or effects in which caused by, by selfishness uh, among the leaders in developing countries. And from that point, this marks the end of today's session. And let us meet in another session. Thank you.